Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 40 Rearranging Formulae in my IGC exam question series. If you do like the video, please do like the video. And let's get into the maths. Okay, we need to first make A the subject of this equation. So I'm going to subtract G from both sides because I want to isolate the term which has an A in it, which is going to give me D minus G is equal to 2AC. I'm then going to divide what is multiplied by the A. And in this case, we need to divide by 2 and C. So I'll do that in one swoop. I'll divide by 2C. So this gives me D minus G over 2C, and that's going to equal A. So that is my formula, D minus G over 2C. OK, next question, and we are asked to make A the subject. Uh, so I'm going to remove the term which is not uh, having an A in it to both sides, which is going to give me M plus BD is equal to AC. And then finally, I'm just going to divide through by what it's times by, which is C. So dividing through by C is going to give me that A is equal to M plus BD over C. OK, next question is, is, is slightly trickier. We, we've got to figure out what's the first step to do. And the whole of the right side is underneath this square root. So I want to remove that first in order to free up the F. So I'm going to square both sides, which is going to give me M squared. And the squaring was, is the inverse of square rooting. So that square root will disappear. And that will leave me with 1 third E to the F. Now, the next step, it's very tempting to divide by a third like we would do normally, but that would get things um, a bit messy because I'd have dividing by a third, a fraction on the bottom like that. So alternatively, what we could do is multiply both sides by 3. This gives me 3m squared, and a 3 times by a third is just 1, so they will cancel. So I'm left with ef. And then finally, to free up the f, I need to divide through by e which is going to give me 3m squared over e, and that's equal to f. OK, now we're on to the questions where the um, variable which you need to make the subject occurs twice. And what we need to do for that is, first off, multiply both sides by the denominator, which gives me y x plus 3 is equal to 5 minus 2x. And then I'm going to multiply out this bracket to get yx plus 3y is equal to 5 minus 2x. And then here comes the key point. You need to identify all the terms which have an x in it and move them over to the left-hand side. And all of the terms which don't have an x in it need to be moved over to the right-hand side. So adding 2x to both sides is going to give me yx, move that one over so this comes plus 2x. So that's going to come over there, and this one needs to go over to there. So that's going to give me 5, and subtracting the 3y from both sides is going to give me the minus 3y on that side. And now I can do the necessary step of factorizing the left hand side. And then I can divide through that factor I've just created which is y plus 2. And there we have it. We have x on its own. OK, another very similar question, but first off, we need to remove this square root sign. So I'm going to square both sides, and that's going to get rid of the square root sign on the right-hand side. I'm then going to multiply up the denominator and write it like this inside of a bracket. I'm then going to expand the brackets like this. And then I'm going to move all of my x terms, which are these two, over to the uh, left-hand side. And I'm going to move all of my non-x terms over to the right-hand side. So moving that over there is going to give me y squared x minus 3x. And then moving this over here 
is going to give me minus 2 and then minus that y squared. I can then factorize and then I can divide through by that factor. So I get minus 2 minus y squared all over y squared minus 3. And we're good. Okay, this question says, given that n is greater than 0, uh, make n the subject of this formula. Um, so it kind of looks uh, hard, but essentially we're going to do exactly the same thing. Uh, multiply the n squared up to the other side, like that. And then subtract the n squared over, so that you have n on both sides. Uh, so you have the n, the terms that have n in it are on the same side. And then you can factorize out an n squared to get y minus 1 is equal to d. And then you can divide through by that factor. So I get d over y minus 1. And then the last step is to square root. So I get n is equal to square root of d over y minus 1. And normally when we square root, we would write a plus or minus sign. But because we're told that n is greater than 0, it, we don't need a plus sign, we don't need a minus. So the answer is just the square root of positive. OK, final question. Make m the subject. Again, I'm going to do the same thing, which is multiply up by the denominator to start with. I'm then going to expand the brackets and get 2. So always put the, the number on the uh, on the left hand side. P squared M minus P squared Y is equal to X plus M. I am going to look for all of the ones which have an M in it, which is this and this, and I'm going to move them all over to the uh, left hand side. So I'm going to get 2 P squared M uh, minus M, and then these terms here, I'm going to move over to the right side. So I'm going to get x, and that minus is going to swap over to a plus when it moves over. Then I'm going to factorize out m, which is going to give me 2, p squared minus 1. And then I'm going to divide through. I'm going to get x plus p squared y all over 2p squared minus 1. And we are done. All right, that's change of subject done. Most of the questions are very similar, so it's a good topic to be able to guarantee yourself four marks. If you did enjoy the video, please do like it and subscribe if you're not already, and then move on to the next topic. I will see you there. Bye for now.